14-year-old Emma wanted a makeover of her teenage room, and she always desired one of those cool platform beds with a chill zone where she could hang out with her friends, having a good time relaxing on a bunch of cozy pillows. Her room measures 3.2 by 4 meters, which equals to 125 by 160 inches. At the core is her new queen-size mattress, measuring 1.6 by 2 meters, the equivalent of 60 by 80 inches. In order to take the shortcut in building such a great teenage bed, we considered utilizing some easy-to-build IKEA furniture. It turns out that their Eket product line is perfectly suited for such a project in regards to the variety and dimensions offered. Eket is a versatile series of modular storage cabinets that come in different colors and that can be stacked, hung, or combined endlessly. The cabinets also come with easy-to-install connection hardware, holding the individual cabinets together and in place. I bought a total of 12 individual elements from IKEA for less than $800 that I'll describe in further detail a bit later on. Now, let's focus on the first five elements as laid out on the floor plan. I assembled the cabinets and started to string them together. The cabinets numbered 6 to 10 were placed individually for them to support either the platform or to hold the bed in place. What's great about the Eket series from IKEA is that you can use their planning tool online that lets you easily combine different elements the way that's just perfect for your project. Now all I have to do now is pull up IKEA.com and search for Eket series in the search field. Once you got that, simply scroll down and find the link to the Eket planning tool. Then click on the link and enter the code 37J27V. Once you got that, the saved configuration will appear, allowing you to check on details, make changes, or place your order of the chosen combination. Now, let's get started. I cut some 2x4s into length, drilled a hole into each of them in order for them to be vertically attached to the wall later on. The lumber serves to support the slatted frame of the queen-size bed, and that way the 2x4s can also bear a great load. Now, to allow for maximum capacity and stability, I simply placed one of those cabinets underneath the slatted frame, adding another 2x4 to distribute the weight it has to carry. I tightly screwed those 2x4s to the cabinets. That not only serves to carry the bed, but also holds the whole construction in place. We got four coated plywood boards from the home improvement store with the approximate dimensions, and all I had to do was to cut them in length and carve out the shape for the step to climb onto the platform. I screwed the panels in place with the cabinets underneath and glued some double-sided carpet tape to the boards. For the sake of coziness, we selected a wool carpet with a real soft touch that provides underfoot comfort and instantly updates the room with a pleasant dash of vibrancy. Now, we're almost done with the project. Once that carpet was put in place, we insert the queen-size mattress and finished up the project by adding a wall panel with a bedside lamp, some picture frames, a Bluetooth speaker, and a bit of decoration. To conclude the whole setup, we suspended a bed canopy from the ceiling, added some LED string lights, and finished off by placing a variety of pillows and blankets. The whole project took not more than a weekend's work, and since completion, Emma and her friends have been enjoying the updated teenager heaven. Thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel for further creative projects coming up.